recording. So on this episode, we're going to look at bicep strain, and this is for Dominda Singh. And let's say you're doing preacher curls or bicep curls, and you feel a twinge in the bicep muscle. Following days, you start to get a bit of a soreness and tightness building up in the bicep, and preceding that, you might get a bit of build up of scar tissue. So what I'd recommend for that is a bit of Voodoo Floss. You can get this off Amazon for a couple of pounds. And it's a type of rubber which allows compression to the muscle. And the muscle, when you have an injury, tends to build up with adhesions and scar tissue. So when you add high compressive forces and then take the muscle through contraction and relaxation, it breaks away on those adhesions and frees up the muscle. So how you wrap it up, I've shown this in previous videos. But you'd wrap it up from the top of the joint three rounds at a decent compression. So I'll give you an example. It's a bit harder to do this to yourself. So do a couple of rounds above the elbow joint. You don't cover the elbow joint, so that bony bit that sticks out, you don't cover that part. And then just below the elbow joint. So it does look like my skin is popping out in between the spaces and that's what it's meant to look like. So you have a decent amount of compression and you need to be careful about your neurovascular bundle. So you need to make sure that you've still not got any pins and needles going into the hand. So once you've done that, three wraps above, three wraps below, you can tuck in the loose part. Then you want to take your arm through flexion and extension exercises. So you go to where you start to feel a bit of a tightness and then you can back off and you can increase that range of motion as you do this. So you can repeat 10 flexion or 20 flexion extensions of the elbow joint and then you can add a bit of supination and pronation. So you're bringing your hand or your thumb away from you to the left and then away from you to the right. So you can go through that motion and it will work different vectors of how the bicep works and it will help to break up some of those adhesions that have happened post-injury and get you back to bench pressing and pre-curling.